Clearly, there's been some major turbulence in the health care cohort. As many of the Democrats running for president want to implement some form of single-payer system, and while that might seem like a long shot, it would mean many of these companies make a lot less money. But I think this is an important conversation. Americans pay more for health care than any other country, but it's not like we get better outcomes. In many cases, we have worse outcomes. That's one reason we're seeing a massive industry-wide push for greater efficiency. And one of the ways that's happening is with telemedicine. Consider the case of Doctor on Demand. It's a privately held company that bills itself as the nation's leading virtual care provider. Basically, the platform lets you see a doctor over the web because there are a lot of problems that can be handled with a simple video conference. Doctor on Demand average wait time, five minutes. Now, tomorrow, they're launching a new health plan in partnership with Humana called On Hand that's all about providing primary care over the web, which could be a very, very big deal. So tonight, let's take a closer look with Hill Ferguson. He's the CEO of Doctor on Demand. Find out more about what this service means for you, for business, and for the broader healthcare sector. Hill, welcome to the show. Thank Good to you. see you, sir. Thank you. All right, so what happens beginning tomorrow with, with Humana when someone wants to visit a doctor? Sure. So tomorrow we're announcing a new health plan in conjunction with Humana called On Hand. It'll be the first ever virtual only plan design, which will enable uh, members to see a primary care doctor on their time. We're bringing care outside the four walls and into the home or into the car or into the office, wherever you are, so that you can see your primary care physician whenever you need them. All right, what percentage of illnesses or complaints can really be handled over the web? We resolve about 92% of our cases today. For that remaining 8%, with this new plan design, we'll be leveraging Humana's network uh, specialists and other facilities. So patients will come see us first. If they need to see a specialist, we will refer them into that specialist. Uh, if they need to get imaging or an x-ray or an MRI, we'll help make that happen for them. So we're really acting as a concierge. Well, there's this bizarre disconnect between what I hear in Washington and what you're doing. Something between single payer, which would be revolutionary and probably unlikely, and what uh, and just like the full course ridiculous nature we have now would be you. Why are why is your company not part of the conversation when I hear from the president uh, presidential candidates? It should be, right. and I, and I think they're starting to catch on. Um, they uh, are very much looking to expand access and lower costs. It's nice. typically hard to do at the same time, but telemedicine is one of those rare things that does both. It opens up access and it lowers costs of the system. So I think it is starting to become on the radar of our government. You see the new uh, reimbursement acts in Medicare Advantage coming out in 2020. Uh, hopefully that's a sign of more to come. Um, and it's all about how you get reimbursed in this industry. That's what drives behavior. Right now, uh, what's the difference between you and Teladoc who we've had on or just very similar circumstances or similar sure. plans? So we were founded about six years ago. Um, our model is, we're, think of us as a national practice of employed physicians. Okay. So we employ primary care physicians, psychiatrists, and psychologists, which is part of the reason that, that puts us in a great position to, to do virtual primary care. Mm -hmm. We're not a network of independently contracted docs that okay. talk to patients on the phone. Right. We're video, we're messaging, and phone with employed physicians, which means our patients can come back and see the same doctor, so they can actually develop a relationship. Now, I think that one of the things that has caused more bankruptcies in our country than anything else is health care. And when I listen to how much the premiums have gone up for health care plans, I realize that that's one of the reasons why America is not keeping up, why middle class is being hurt. What do you have to say to them with your company? Yeah, it's, it's a real problem. The cost of care is exorbitant. Right. And the quality of care is not improving along with those costs. One of the things that's so exciting about this news with Humana, you know, Humana's been innovating for 30 years right. in this industry. This new plan is going to be priced at almost half the cost of a traditional care plan. Uh, so we're able to take uh, a lot of the delivery costs out of this model, which, which will pass through into premiums for, uh, for members. So we're doing... Uh, something in this area with this new plan we're launching uh, well, tomorrow. People are going to listen to this, and tomorrow they're going to call Humana and going to say, look, I'm, I'm, being, I'm paying $5,000 a month for this stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, can I get in this thing? Uh, what, 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 how do you get in? Yeah. How do you become part of it? Well, I hope people are calling them. <laughs> they will, you know, because so I know what the, I have my pulse on this. Yeah. I mean, i got to tell you, this is, this is the big graveyard of finance for people in this country. Yes. 
So we'll be rolling it out this summer. Uh, I think it will be met with a lot of positivity, particularly with small businesses, okay. many of whom are on the sidelines. They can't afford to cover their employees. Right. And so this plan is very specifically targeted at that population. So it's very affordable, very accessible. Um, why would doctors want to be involved? Yeah, so doctors are becoming more and more burnt out in this industry. Our doctors come to us with 15 years experience. They're disenchanted with the system. They don't like spending three hours a day working in a health record that is optimized for billing and not right. for patient care. And so they come to us for uh, a new way to practice medicine, one that's all about patient care, one that simplifies their life. Uh, we don't ask them to do a lot of administrative things that they have to do in a brick and mortar setting. And so on our platform, they can join our practice and just help patients and all the administrative burdens uh, are removed and taken on by our, by our technology and our practice. One last question, uh, hospitals, emergency rooms, deluge with patients. When you're full out working, what does it mean for emergency rooms? Yeah, so we, we actually treat 90% of what can be treated, what comes into the emergency room today, 90%. right? 90%. And so much of that is causing problems for people who do come in with a real emergency, so they're overcrowded. And, um, and that's a, a primary use case of our service today. Oh, I don't know. I hear these things and I listen to what single, single payer, never going to happen. I think, I think that perfect is the enemy of good. And you guys are offering <laughs> good service. That's Hill Ferguson, CEO of Doctor on Demand. Big deal tomorrow with Humana. Understand it's not public yet, but stay tuned. Mad Money's back here for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.